As a travel lover, I have been to many countries. Whenever I visit a new place, I always try the local specialties. In the winter of 2021, I traveled to Thailand, which is one of my favorite countries. I really like the climate there. Many people think that Thai food may be too spicy, but I really enjoyed the taste and every bite gave me a thrill. I tried many dishes in Thailand, and one of my favorites was the cold seafood. I know this diet of mine may not be very healthy, but when I come across my favorite food, I can't help myself. When traveling, I find it a very rewarding experience to taste local cuisine because it not only satisfies my taste buds, but also gives me a better understanding of the local lifestyle. During my travels, I would occasionally feel pain in my abdomen. I've had this happen before, but this time it felt a little worse. So I decided to return home early. The day after I returned home, I went to the hospital by myself. The doctor examined my body, but could not determine the cause of my illness. He said it was possible that I had eaten some kind of unclean food that caused it. I've had this before, so I took some painkillers like I used to do. But this time it didn't help. My mother was very worried about me and she noticed that I was getting worse, so she took me to the hospital again. This time I was lucky enough to meet an experienced doctor. He examined me carefully and then told me that my appendix had started to ulcerate and that I had to schedule an operation as soon as possible. When I heard this news, I felt very scared and worried. I had never experienced surgery before. The doctor also told me that appendicitis could cause more serious consequences if left untreated. Surgery was the only treatment and it had to be done as soon as possible. Before the surgery, I was very scared. The nurse kept encouraging me and assured me that the operation would be completed successfully. But then the accident happened. I lost a lot of blood during the operation and my heart stopped beating. When I lost consciousness, I entered a very strange state. I felt like I was leaving my body. Instead of feeling any pain, I felt very relaxed and free. My consciousness was floating on the ceiling of the operating room, and I saw that there were many people around my body. I did not feel any attachment to my body. I felt that I was ready to leave. This state made me feel very relaxed. I realized that my body was the source of my pain and now I was free of it. I felt very free, without the pain I had before and without the worries in my life. It was a very wonderful feeling. Suddenly, a mysterious force pulled me upward. After I left the hospital, I flew into the sky. I felt like a bird, flying freely in the air. As I looked down at the earth, I saw many wonderful sights. I saw beautiful mountains and vast seas. Every creature has its own way of living, and every place has its unique charm. I realized that everything in the world is interconnected. Every creature and every plant has their place and their role. I can see how we are all connected. We are a part of each other. And part of God. I got further and further away from the earth and I came into a light. It was filled with pure light, and I felt like I was becoming part of it. Soon, I noticed two angels with a golden glow on their bodies. Although I had never seen them before, I felt that there was some kind of connection between us. I tried to see their faces, but no matter how much I stared, I couldn't make out specific features. We communicated with our minds, and this communication was very intuitive and quick. They were very welcoming and I felt their warmth and goodwill. They told me that the world is a harmonious whole and that we are all part of it. They took me to a mysterious place. Here I saw countless spheres, as if they were scaled-down versions of the universe. 
Each sphere has its own characteristics and unique light. Some spheres shone with various colors, while others show detailed and wonderful patterns. I also saw the earth, which is so wonderful and magical. The earth is full of life and energy, like a hive of awakened bees. It was like a beautiful blue jewel with a dazzling glow. I can clearly see the outlines of the continents and oceans. The earth is like a giant organism, full of energy and vitality. I saw countless life forms, from the birds in the sky to the giant whales in the depths of the ocean. All this constitutes a harmonious ecosystem. This scene gave me a deeper understanding of nature and the universe. Here, I also saw many things that will happen in the future. Among these things, there are good things and bad things. The one that impressed me the most was that there will be a serious virus crisis in the future. The scale of this one is more severe than any other, causing panic and anxiety on a global scale. The reasons for the spread of this virus are multiple. Due to the excessive destruction of the natural environment by people, many wild animals have lost their habitats. These animals choose to live around cities in order to get food. This situation makes it easy for the virus to spread to humans. This virus is extremely contagious and deadly, and can even kill people within a week. Due to modern transportation and a globalized economy, the virus spread rapidly across the globe and soon spread to every corner. This viral crisis has brought great impact and destruction to human society. Many lives would be lost. The global economy was hit hard, many businesses went bankrupt, and large numbers of people fell into poverty and hunger. Many countries have become more vulnerable because of the lack of effective control measures. I asked one of the angels, are these disasters really going to happen? He replied, the timeline is very complicated. We are not sure that they will happen, but we can see the possibility of how things will unfold. Another angel reassured me that we believe that humanity can overcome these difficulties and challenges. Finally the angel told me that I had to go back now. That my time had not yet come. They had other work to complete. I felt very curious, so I asked him, what kind of work? He explained, I need to go and pick up those who have just died and come here. I asked him if he could take me with him, and he hesitated for a moment, but finally agreed. The angel took me to a hospital and we entered a hospital room. I saw an old man lying on a bed, his face was pale and he looked very frail. I noticed that there was a medical record on the table, which stated that he was a patient with terminal lung cancer. Suddenly, the old man's body began to tremble and his breathing became more and more rapid. I watched this and felt heartbroken. But the angel stood by and watched calmly, as if he had it all under control. Soon, the old man's body stopped functioning completely. The old man's soul slowly left his body. The old man slowly opened his eyes and found that he was no longer in a hospital bed. His face wore a puzzled expression. He saw the angel and me and felt even more confused. The angel walked over to the old man and said, Your mission on earth is finished, now you can go to heaven with me. The old man's face showed a hint of surprise and he asked, Heaven? Can I really go to heaven? The angel smiled and replied, Yes, heaven is your true home. A look of satisfaction appeared on the old man's face, and then he thanked the angel. He looked down at his body as if he was saying goodbye to it. We came to another place, this one very beautiful. The angel said to the old man, I will now take you to God. The old man looked a little nervous and he asked the angel, Is it true that you are going to see God? 
Will God judge me? The angel smiled and replied, God is the creator of all things and he is the father of all of us. He loves each and every one of us, as you will soon understand. When the old man heard the angel's answer, the doubts on his face slowly dissipated. Then, the angel led us to the gate of heaven. The gate of heaven radiated a dazzling light. The angel told the old man that God was inside. I stood in front of the gate of heaven and felt very excited. The angel told me. It is time for you to go back. I asked him to let me see God too. The angel looked at me, smiled, and said, You will see him when your mission is finished. I felt a little lost. As I was about to leave, the old man waved goodbye to me and told me to cherish life and pursue my dreams with courage. When I opened my eyes, I found myself back in my hospital bed. My body felt very weak. I remembered what I had just experienced in heaven and it felt as if it was a real dream. My family members were waiting by my bedside. When they saw me wake up, they all had smiles of relief on their faces. They told me that I had been in a coma for several days and they were all very worried about my condition. I had a whole new perspective on death. I no longer fear it because I know that when my time comes, the angels will be by my side, accompanying me on my final journey. And then take me back to my home and to heaven. I often share my story with some older people. Telling them that death is not scary because we will all have a good place to go. This message gives them a sense of peace and comfort. Makes them more willing to accept the inevitable.